Hey there guys, welcome to my channel. Today I decided to kind of do a sit down, get ready with me sort of thing, do my makeup on camera, etc. Kind of talk through that. I don't know why anyone would want that, honestly. But I still hope that you really enjoy and hopefully get a little bit of entertainment out of the vlog. So yeah, without further ado, please just keep on watching. Hey there guys, so editing Georgia here. I literally had to show you this clip. It almost wasn't going to make the cut, but basically this is the first clip of me trying to do my get ready with me portion of the vlog and my lovely boyfriend came in and really, really scared me and it's so embarrassing the way I start crying. Uh, but I thought I literally have to share this with the world because this was hilarious. Please don't make fun of me in the comments. Um, but yeah, without further ado, watch this scare. I'm going to look a little bit orange, I think, with this foundation. Let me see. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> okay, brownie points for the fact that he came in and immediately hugged me when he realised how upset I got. But, like, don't scare people. It's not funny. <laughs> so, anyways, what we were doing before I threw my foundation across the room. So sorry if I'm coughing my way through this video, guys. I just sounded really ill. I'm still unwell. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pluck my eyebrows because no one wants to see that. So fast forward and I'll see you guys when I start the actual routine. Now I have ridiculously dry skin and I have really dry skin on my scalp. I have really dry skin behind my ears, basically my face, but I get really dry skin behind my eyebrows, which is so annoying and like just slightly unsightly. And it, it's kind of one of these things that really bothers me. Um, <clears throat> the first kind of step, look at me, like here's my makeup routine. I haven't bought makeup in two years or something. Um, so yeah, I go in with this, which is the, oh, I've already put it in my hand. The simple, oh, how do these gurus do this? There you go, the simple moisturiser. This is the hydrating light one now. I know I said that I have really dry skin, which is true. And I know you're thinking, but that's a light moisturiser. Yes. Um, ironically, I have really dry skin. Um, but if I go, sorry, it's that whole not being able to talk and actually do something at the same time. I have really, really dry skin. Um, <clears throat> But if I put on too heavy a moisturiser, it'll actually uh, clog my pores up and give me more spots. As you can see, I've got a lot of spots going on and a lovely, awful cold sore right now. Uh, which really made me think like, oh gosh, I don't want to do the video. But you know, we all get skin issues. We all watch my face go really red because I've just rubbed it. Um, we all get skin issues, we all have insecurities and do you know what, I don't lie to you guys. I never want to come on my channel and be like, something I'm not. So Now usually, well I let this dry, usually I would go in with the Dream Radiant Foundation, I believe, oh goodness, how do these gurus do this? By um, Maybelline. Now as you can see, this is the one I threw across the room. It's now empty over the room, um, but I also have this one I usually mix it with. Now this is, before people say it's too dark for you and stuff, I know it makes me look a tiny bit orange. Uh, actually, do you know what? This is number one, this is number 21. Don't even ask how I've gotten like, how I jumped 20, um, 20 kind of places with foundation, but this is the... Oh, look at my little llama plaster. Dear me. This is the, uh, this is not going to focus, but it's the Dream Radiant Liquid again in Nude Beige 21. Now, if you couldn't tell, if you haven't watched my videos, if you can't see this delightful face, um, I'm extremely pale, but we're going to go in with this. Now, I have actually stopped using a primer as much. I use it for special occasions, but I generally uh, would use the Porefessional primer. Oh, do you know why it's my autofocus isn't on? <laughs> I'm like, focus, but um, I would usually use the Benefit Porefessional primer, um, but actually, I find it can, can, kind of breaks me out if I wear uh, too much of a primer, so I tend not to wear one actually. Um, and things come out just fine, usually. Uh, but before I put my foundation on, I use the Caramex. 
Um, and because I've got a cold sore right now, which let's just not talk about that. Uh, use my finger. How grim. <laughs> use a different finger. So I kind of prep my lips. Uh, so yeah, I have. I used to use a beauty blender. It got a bit mouldy, so I now use this, which is a Real Techniques foundation brush. Um, it's good, you know? I like using it. I used to have the Sigma somewhere. The Sigma, I think it's like the F60 or something. All the beauty YouTubers were using it. Um, as you can tell, not a beauty YouTuber. Um, but yeah, I've almost using it and it looked really good and I got it and it is really good. But this is also nice and it's uh, from, I think I got it in Boots. Uh, so I just put some on my hand. Look at that colour match, guys. I know, I know, basically dead on, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> and I just kind of do this and dab because even though I've got, like, I'll scoot you closer. Even though I've got loads of scarring and everything, I usually go on with quite, like, a thin coat to begin with. And then I sort of add on, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I'm just trying to, the mirror's there, so I'm trying to look in while I do this. Uh, I know you're like supposed to start here and work your way out I think. Honestly I just go in with it because why not? Who am I looking good for? Except for me. Um, so yeah I make sure to go down like in school I'd never go down uh, to my neck. Oh hello. In school I'd never go down to my neck with my foundation or on my ear a little bit and um, well it just looks like you've got a line doesn't it it's not nice uh, beauty tips with Georgia isn't it um, so yeah just going in with that uh, as you can see not a brilliant match it looks am I kidding myself that it looks better on camera than in real life I don't know uh, so I just take again just mix it so it's not a full dollop I'll just take that here. I've only put one pump in. Um, I usually use two, but I don't like to waste, so I'd rather go in again than have too much, if that makes sense. <sighs> Goodness me. I'm still breathing out of my mouth. I don't know what's going on. Like, got a real bad cold or whatever's happening. And this delightful cold sore, let's not again pretend it doesn't exist <clears throat> right so just got that other bit of my forehead to do and then we'll be done I'll probably fast forward this bit no one wants to watch this but yeah like I like going right up in my hairline which is really bad uh, <laughs> probably um, but you just need to remember to like go right up in your hairline as well I get these like little I've covered it up now. Little red moles everywhere. Um, especially my forehead. That one really annoys me. Got one there, one there, one here. Um, and it's one of those insecurities. Oh God, I'm looking at the viewfinder. Not in the camera. That's annoying. So yeah, especially because this shade doesn't 100% match. I'm just kind of going in. I haven't added any more product. I'm just kind of going in and down with what I already have. Yeah, just going over my wee eyebrows as well. My eyebrows really need shaping, actually. Um, but it's just not something I've got around to. And I'm just going to take that tiny last bit and sort of do my chin, trying my best. I have to wash my brushes every day as well now. I don't, I should. Uh, with a cold sore, because otherwise you'll just get it again and again and again. Uh, but let's not pretend that it's the end of the world because it's not. Right, so I'm going to grab a makeup wipe just to get my hand because that will go everywhere and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just did a huge segment there and didn't record um, because it died and I hadn't even noticed. Basically, all I've done is spot concealed, put some concealer. Um, I use the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer in Fair Neutral. Oh, and I just use that. Um, and now I'm using the Collection Primed and Ready Illuminating Setting Powder in the 
fair shades um number one and i'm just taking a brush this i was literally just saying before i found out the camera had died uh this is really shiny and it's good but what i do find is that if you have any redness like i do this somehow illuminates it red like pinky um so just be kind of aware of that i would say but it is a really good budget option gosh i'm, I'm not really in focus on my uh so again i just put this everywhere um because why not and i also will use the same brush for basically everything uh not everything but quite a lot of things so again just taking that underneath just because we're trying to blend we're trying to make everything good so i'm taking this real techniques brush um oh it's got my hair on it taking my real techniques brush this was part of a collection my mum uh, got me for at christmas which was lovely um so it's all sparkly and nice so i take that and then i take this which is the hula light from benefit now a lot of people say this turns out a wee bit orangey on them honestly i think it looks a bit orangey on me too um i've got both but i just take a bit of that and uh I say a bit, it's it's more than a bit. And I just sort of bronze my face up. Now again, lifting my hair up because it gets everywhere and just sort of getting into all of those bits in my face. And I always take it down here. I don't like going in a line. Um, I can't remember who it was, but one of the BC YouTubers is like, don't go in a line kind of do this I don't know if you can actually see the difference uh that my double chin is kind of going away hmm is it though a wee bit on this side but yeah that's my bronzing that's not even contour neither that's literally just doing a bit of a bronze and I'll repeat on the same side There we go. Now, if you are feeling like you want to contour a wee bit, I usually take, oh goodness, everything's falling. Take that brush uh, from earlier that I used for powder. Take the Hula Benefit, uh, but in the normal color, take a tiny bit of that and sort of just go up. You see how that's, yeah contouring I mean I've got no contour of this on that side but I suppose if you want to kind of carve out your look that works I don't know I'm not a beauty youtuber next I actually usually do my eyes but um sometimes I take a blush I can't find the usual blush I use by oh I'm lying, it's right here in my beauty bag. It's Bobbi Brown. Um, I got this with some birthday money probably over a year ago, but the Max Factor, um, Max Factor Cream Puff Blush in Five Lovely Pink is kind of quite close, I would say. This one almost, oh, I just dropped one of them. This one looks purple. It's not going to focus, is it? This one looks purple, but it actually comes off really pink. Now this is one of these you kind of have to build up situations, um, which is fine. And it's quite shiny, it's got like luminescence in it. Here I am sticking up for it and it's not really doing much on this foundation right. We'll do a bit of mix, we'll also take this one, the Barry M one, the Bobbi Brown one, <laughs> the Bobbi Brown one, and we'll just, there you go, get a wee bit. And again, I'm kind of focusing on here and, and lifting it up. I love that I'm explaining what I'm doing as if I've got any ideas to what I'm actually doing. So just apples of the cheeks, but going up. I used to hate wearing blush and now I'm like, oh, I quite like it. Although, does any anyone else get that thing where you put on blush and then it's gone in about... 20 seconds after you finish your makeup and you think where did it go anyways so the next thing i do is i take my mini um real techniques brush from the other collection and i take 
Now there's a few highlighters that I use, um, but I do like this one, the Dandelion Twinkle from Benefit. Got this for Christmas as well in that little set. Um, so I take this, which is quite well used, and I will, you see that powder that comes off, do this and just sort of, I think you are definitely meant to use a fan brush with this, but do you know what? Who cares? And I'll run it a tiny bit on my nose. I don't know, I don't like the Rudolph kind of huge uh, highlighter on the nose on me personally, just because I don't think it suits me personally. And then the next thing I do, because I feel like this has turned into honestly like an 800 step routine. So I got one of those little eyeliner pots for Christmas and honestly I don't use it a lot but this tiny brush came with it and honestly it's like the best little brush ever for my eyebrows. So I take this um, Brow This Way Rimmel London in a, honestly I'm not too sure but it's a dark brown and I take it because if you go in right with this applicator I find that it gets my brows messy and fuzzy everywhere so I take this and sort of I don't know if you can see that just hit it a wee bit and then just go over my brows honestly I've got really full brows anyway and I feel like loads of product on them kind of um, it's a tiny bit overkill for me um, but I do like to kind of fill them in just in case Genu genuinely because I can't be bothered getting the foundation that I put over them off um, so I just fluff this through like that really nothing special they're just bushy they do their own thing do a tiny bit of uh, my eyes I've got this morphe brush please don't ask which one it is I honestly I'm not sure do you know what it is needs cleaned is what it does and I've got this uh, real techniques brush which is so old that it's actually rubbed off um, so I got these brushes and I usually use this palette which is from Revolution. As you can see it's just, it's very messy. Uh, it's a really old one, it's called the Reloaded Iconic Vitality. And I love this shade here. Uh, it doesn't have a name but it's like a purpley shade. Uh, it does take a lot of build up so what I do first is I usually go in with like this plain white kind of shade. Very powdery. And I just go all over my lid and again, I'm not the best person to ask when it comes to eyeshadow because I'm just self-taught, all of this obviously. So I go over my whole eye with this and then I go in with the, the kind of, uh, where is it, the kind of purpley shade, uh, really get in there. And this is one of those that you do really need to build up but it is, you know, it's a, it's a real budget friendly palette. Um, and you get a nice payoff from it. It's suddenly gone really quiet because I'm trying to concentrate. But yeah, I focus kind of on the outer corner. Um, do the same with the other eye. So again, you can just build this up depending on what you're feeling. That foundation is kind of oxidizing. Mm, to show colour. It doesn't look terrible, like it doesn't look like an awful shade, honestly. Um, depends on what you like, really. Makes me look a bit more alive than my usual extremely kind of pale self. Um, but yeah, I just pop, pop this on everywhere and then I'll probably take this slightly darker shade. Now this is like a pressed powder. Um, as in like, a, I don't know what you call it, it's like a shinier one, but I still just take it with a brush just to give a little bit of depth um, to the outer corner again, as if I know anything I'm talking about um, and I do that on both sides, there's not a huge amount of fallout at all with this palette, which is nice um, I do quite like Revolution stuff, I really do so yeah, and then I'll take just this, which is like a pearlescent um, shade, and I just use my finger and pop that all over. Spill it all the way down my eye, because you know, why not? Um, and then just take the same brush and sort of make sure I've got that all in. And sometimes I will line my eyes. I use that brush, the same eyebrow powder, 
that I use for my brows. Um, not sure you meant to do that, but take that brush and sort of just do a bit of a bit of a liner, I suppose. I do have eyeliner, and sometimes I do it with the the real liner and a flick and everything. This is just to give it my eyes a tiny bit more definition. As you can see, it basically does nothing, but I do like doing it. Uh, there is a wee bit. Oh, look at that! Honestly, there's a wee bit of fallout there. Um, that's okay. I honestly just start pat, pat, patting it away until it, it goes. I'm sure there's a way that you you can actually get rid of that. Then I'll just take. I've got loads of these mini uh, sample size. This is the. Uh, Roller Lash by Benefit, not sponsored. There's so many Benefit products here. Um, it's just because I got some for Christmas and, and lots of samples from Boots. Um, and I will take, this is a lovely mascara. Any mascara works. I love all mascaras basically that I've tried from what we call, not we don't call it the drugstore really, like the pharmacy you can get makeup from. Um, but what Americans call the drugstore, I suppose. Uh, I, f I have this awful feeling I've been out of focus this entire video. Sorry if I have. But yeah, I just, um, this is attractive, isn't it? I just put my mascara on. Sometimes I do the bottom lashes, sometimes I don't. Um, and I will just take my, I don't know which brand this is, L'Oreal. My L'Oreal lipstick, this is a nice one. Um, this is the L'Oreal Pal, L'Oreal Pal, it's this one. And it's a uh, colour rich, it's all, it's all rubbed off, matte maybe, 640. Anyways, usually I just stick it right on, but Mr. Cold Sores decided to come and play, so I'm just going to put it on a clean finger. There we go. And again, like I said, sometimes I do go in a wee bit more with the blush, depending on how it looks compared to the lipstick. Um, honestly, I think this is fine. I'm also just going to kind of clean my brush off my hands and really dab in here, just because I get a bit oily. Um, and yeah, today I'm honestly, I think I'll just leave my hair as is. So yeah, for this look, I think honestly today I'm going to change, but I'm just going to keep my hair as is. And um, this is the final look. Uh, oh, not in focus, but <laughs> there we go. So this is the final look. Oh, should I do a final? I'll do a final look with something nice on. Hold on. Scratch that. I literally couldn't find anything nice to wear, so I'm just wearing that same t-shirt that I was wearing before. Um, but in natural light, this is the final makeup look. And this is just my everyday uh, kind of thing. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed spending some time with me. Um, pretending to be a beauty YouTube guru. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for sticking with me, this and all, including the no makeup scenes. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you hit subscribe, that would mean the world, please, and give this video a like and comment down below whether you want another vlog again or you're like, no, I never want to see another vlog ever again. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.